Good morning, Thursday, the 25th of November. I struck again um, by the readings this morning from morning prayer, particularly 1 Peter chapter 2 and the latter part of chapter 2, which we read today, but really all of chapter 2, um, where, where we are told to just hang in there, be faithful. Um, I, I'm paraphrasing, but remember your first love. Remember those times when God answered your prayer, when he was there audibly, visibly, and you just knew that you knew that God existed. Remember those times in the tough times. So when you don't think God is near you, when you think he's far away, when you're having uh, what they call the, the desert experience, remember the times when you were at the oasis, when you were surrounded by greenery and, and water and fresh food, when God was powerfully with you and helping you. Remember those times in the tough times because they will help you persevere. You see, God is not here to keep us constantly in a bed of roses. That, that's just so unnatural to life. And whether we like it or not, we live in a world that is fallen. We are part of that world. And so we will experience the ups and the downs of what this world can throw at us. And in the downs, remember what God has done for you when you were feeling strong with him. And be faithful, persevere. And all of this is incredibly important because we know that we're in this, this mini Advent period. We're looking forward to Advent, which is on Sunday. And then we begin to look for the coming of our Lord. And obviously we look for his coming. We remember the past, his coming to us as a little child. We look for his coming in the future as king, as Lord, as judge. And we look for his presence amongst us now in the present situation in which we find ourselves. So the message, clear, remain faithful, remain positive, remember your Lord, he is coming. Folks, have a wonderful day. We'll chat tomorrow. Bye-bye.